<clears throat> All up. All right, cool. All right, look, everybody. We're here today with uh, the first episode of They News. They News is basically it's a it's a YouTube show, absolutely about nothing. I just decided that I wanted to put this cool blazer on and show my chest. I wanted to use my extremely overpriced camera. Uh, I really don't have anything to talk about besides the fact that this morning I actually got my hair braided. I got my locks braided. I already have locks. I had twisties. They turned into locks. I got my locks braided. Now for the people, the thousand white people that walk up to me and say, how'd you get your hair like that? What's the maintenance? Do you wash them? For you guys, uh, actually my sister took my hair. She made a bunch of parts, like strands, but two groups. She twisted them, double twist. I just kind of kept them in there and in the beginning I didn't wash them uh, but they didn't smell or maybe they did I don't know and I slept uh, slept and I played and I slept new hair grew they started to tangle and intertwine and they locked that's how my hair got how it is and now it's just extremely long and for some of my fans that send me fan mail and ask me if my hair is if it makes me hot during the summer yes it's it's hot during the summer because it's hot I've had hair since like sixth grade so Hopefully that answers your questions. As far as where I'm, I'm shopping deals right now, Interscope actually called last week and they were saying that um, they, they, they were offering me a, a bag of popcorn and a hot dog if I wanted to sign with them. I turned that offer down. Also, yesterday I had I had a talk with, uh, with Ralph Ellison. And he was actually telling me that um, the guy he wrote about in The Invisible Man actually was one of his buddies from back in the day that was actually invisible but he had just became an adult and he was actually going to write a non-fiction story but he didn't think anyone would believe him so he just he stuck with uh, the fiction he ended up writing a really great novel this morning i woke up and i watched ted talks it was with the lady that wrote eat pray love basically creativity sometimes is aligned with anguish if you're creative you kind of get the feeling that Sometimes you, you have to do better than your previous work. Like if you write something really awesome and people praise you, and then all of a sudden everything after that is gonna get compared to that, and it shouldn't. I was like, man, you know, I don't wanna make the best album of my life tomorrow, and then, then the next album after that is not that awesome. And she also said that back in ancient Rome, the genius was actually thought to be someone that was not human. It was like, and a person or like a spirit, the genius would give you your powers to create. It limited that space. If you created something really great, people would, they wouldn't praise you too much because they know that you had the genius help you. And if you created something crappy, they wouldn't talk about you too much because then you can just kind of blame it on the genius. So that actually kind of make me feel good too. So if I make a crappy song tomorrow, I can just be like, yeah, it's not my fault. It was the genius's fault. Like he was messing with me. Oh yeah, I heard of uh, Tray Trayvon Martin, rest in peace. And uh, the Zimmerman, the, the trial, um, it's a rumor going around that if Zimmerman walks, all black people are just, we're just going to uh, riot. We're all going to set our times to the same time worldwide. And at 1 p.m., wherever it is, um, we're just all going to riot. Just kind of give you guys a heads up. Try to be prepared for that. If you support Zimmerman, uh, more, more power to you. More power to you. I would just say to invest in the shield and the helmet if you decide to leave home. And more not so recent news, uh, LeBron James won his second championship. I'm actually a big LeBron James fan. I'm actually like, I'm kind of like a, a bandwagon Heat fan. That's what well, that's at least what the uh, Laker fans call me. And I tell them I'm really just kind of LeBron James fan wherever he goes. I kind of go. They call me a, a queer because I like him so much. So I really can't win. It's kind of a lose-lose for me, but I'm totally fine with that, you know, totally fine with that. I've lived in Los Angeles my whole life. I used to be a Lakers fan once upon a time. The Lakers fans started hating me back in 03 when I started liking LeBron, which was kind of awkward. I actually lost friends over that and I had to end relationships. Cause like I had this one girl, she'd come over and she'd be like, yeah, oh, we like Lakers, Lakers, woo, woo, woo. Lakers, Kobe Bryant, uh, 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 in your face. Oh yeah, no, ha ha, LeBron James. Eventually, we, we kind of got tired of each other. Like, oh yeah, I hope he missed the shot. Oh yeah, he missed the free throw. One day I just told her like, stop, stop calling me. And then she thought I was joking. So she kept calling me. No, stop calling me. Eventually she kind of stopped calling me. It kind of sucks because LeBron's never given me any money. 
But hey, it's whatever. I mean, I've, I've got a blazer on with no shirt underneath, so I'm pretty cool with it. Oh, my mom, she does hip hop abs. Sean T. I've been going to the gym frequently, and I think that's kind of motivated her a little bit. I've got about anywhere between 30 to 50 books I'm supposed to read, so today I decided that I'm just going to start reading a book a day, even though I usually can't sit down and focus on one thing for longer than eight minutes. So it probably won't work. In other news, my closet is overflowing with clothes and shoes. I usually just buy a few t-shirts and then get cool stuff from the thrift shop because I can afford that. It used to be a like sh shoe face, sneaker head, whatever you call it. I try to sell them on eBay, but then people try to jip you off. Long story short, I sold some blazers for two bucks. Sent a little note with the guy. Hey, I could have ended this auction pay it forward he never sent anything back i think that's pretty much it um i hope you guys have enjoyed the video it's my first of many to come i mean i know i'm great i know it's awesome i know i'm the best at this feel free to criticize me give me feedback give me a thumbs a thumbs down if you like it thumbs up if you don't or whatever hit the subscribe button if you want shout out to your moms as well when you get a chance um start wearing blazers without a shirt underneath and just see how much cooler your life becomes. And this is this is Vay 317 with Vay News and um I'm I'm checking out. Oh yeah, before I check out, my book uh, Dreams of Degrees How to Graduate from College in 4 Years will be out soon. I'm going to be running a campaign for it on Indiegogo. I'm looking for go-go dancers to donate their tips. I'll see you guys um maybe I'll do this every Wednesday or like every other Wednesday or something like that. Um, stay classy San Diego.